not his or her. <laughs> okay, well, I guess there's something liberating about playing the villain. villain. Uh, but I did have to tell him to, to smile at the very yes. first time he came out looking rather apprehensive. Uh, well, because you never know if they're going to be booing. There's a little part inside of you as a performer that says, what if it's not just because you're the bad? <laughs> I would imagine. So, uh, it, first of all, is it your uh, first time with Britain, or had you done anything? I, I've, I've sung little bits and pieces of Billy Bud before. This is my first big thing that I've done this. Right. Definitely. So, and how was that for you when the process? Uh... I mean, you just you just have to dive right in. Fortunately, um, Tarquinius isn't very long. He's you know he's only in maybe 15 minutes of the second act, which is the longer of the two. But when he's on stage, it's on stage, and he makes sure it's about him. You know, so the, the intensity that comes with it is something that you have to, like all parts, you have to sort of map it out and say, OK, I'm going to sing this this way and work on it this way so I have enough room you know, still to keep, keep giving a lot. Because it's one of those parts where you know, it gets, it's most dramatic and it's most emphatic and everything is right there in the last six minutes. Right, and I guess the big challenge is not to force vocally because well, yeah. uh, there's such a, an impetus to be, you know, Well, especially you know, if, I'm, if I'm throwing Lindsay around the stage and doing stuff like that, it's hard, and this one's going, Rah! <laughs> <laughs> But you refrain from yeah. doing that. I do, I mean, partly with vibrato. <laughs> <laughs> coming up for you of, of consequence? Uh, Carmen, in which I am... Um, At least he knows what's the right thing. <laughs> well, surprisingly, if I was talking with someone about my major roles this year, which is Carmen, in which I spend the first scene uh, flirting with Mikaela, and then the, uh, uh, the student matinee of the Count American Figaro, in which I spend the whole show flirting with everyone. <laughs> well, I wonder what my audition was really like last year. <laughs> He's majoring in flirting. Exactly. <laughs> Very useful thing for a baritone to have. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Um, and so, but he skirted over that. I mean, he's, saying, he's singing the Count in the Marriage of Figaro for the student matinee performance, which uh, I don't know if you, you all know this, but uh, for one opera a year, we do a, um, a, a performance, especially for uh, students, usually high school students at the Benedum. So there are 3,000 people in the audience, uh, but the cast is usually the resident artist. So, Dan gets a chance to do the count uh, in the magic figure, which is one of the great, great roles. But it's true, uh, he's a rather nasty guy and he does flirt a great deal. Uh, but have you sung that before, or was this in the first for you? Uh, I, I sang the count my senior year of undergrad. No, which was a very, very long time ago because you, you clearly are very advanced in years. <laughs> <laughs> so, where were you just before you came to uh, this place? I graduated uh, in May from the Manhattan School of Music. New York City. And as I said, you know, people said, oh, you moved into Pittsburgh. And I said, yeah, you know, it's sort of the population of the Upper West Side in the whole city. <laughs> but uh, I'm really, I'm really enjoying it. But the Upper West Side is very, very uh, exclusive. So, uh, so we're happy to be the exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Dan, thank you so much. You were great. Thank you. Thank you.